Hey guys and welcome to the Hackanons YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn how to check if a given key already exists in a dictionary in Python. So let's get started. So basically what I've done is I've created a dictionary that's got a set of two key and value pairs that is key one pointing to a data of 10 and key two pointing to a data of 22. And we're going to see two methods of how to do this. So in the first method, we're going to see how we'll make use of the in keyword to smartly check if a given key exists. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a if condition and let's say I'm going to search for the key one in D that is the dictionary name. Then I will print saying that key exists. And else I'm simply going to print saying that key does not exist. So I'll say key and let's run this script. And as you can see in the output window, it simply says key exists because the given key one was present inside the dictionary. Likewise, if I'm trying to search for some key, which is not present, let's say key 200, as you can see, there's only key one and key two present here. So if I run this execute, so just guess if I run this program and if I'm searching for the key 200, what would be visible on the output window? So let's run the code. And as you can see, it simply says key does not exist because it's pretty self-explanatory since the given key was not present inside the dictionary. In the second method, we will make use of the dictionaries dot get method to do the same process. So first thing is what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called as data and this data will simply store the key value, the value pair given by the certain key. So I'm going to say D dot get and in the parenthesis, I'm going to type in some key value. So in this case, I'll put type key one and let's print and see what happens when we try to access data from the variable. So as you can see, its value is getting printed on the output window for the given get value of the key one. Now what now let's see what will happen if you try to get the value of certain key that does not exist. So likewise, again, I'm going to search for key 200 and when I run this, it simply returns none because there's no such given key that I'm trying to search for. So now what I'm going to do is I'm smartly going to check if the data type of the given data is none. And if it is none, then I'm going to return a print statement saying that that given key does not exist else. I will print the value of the given key. So let me see how to do that. So what I'm going to say is again, make use of the if condition and if type of data is equal to none. And if that type is equal to none, then I'm simply going to print a print statement saying that the key does not exist. So I'll say key does not exist. So it's really simple. And I'm now going to cre create a else condition. And in that I will print another statement saying that the given value is the given value of the key is, and now I'm simply going to print that data, place a comma and print it. So let's run this and let's see the output. So as you can see, it simply says the given value of the key is none. So I made a small mistake over here. What I simply need to do is. I need to check if the data is none, not as the data type, because every time we are searching for a key that does not exist, it's simply returning none, not its data type is not none. So that's one small mistake that I made. And if I run this now, as you can see, it simply says key does not exist. And if I'm trying to search for some key, which is present inside the dictionary, like key two and run this, it will say the given value of the key is 23 because that is simply pointing to the value 23. So that's it from this video where we have seen two methods to check the given request. If you like this video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the Hackinons YouTube channel for more fun and interesting videos. 